Number 1. Vipera Wagneri, or the ocellated mountain snake, is a venomous snake found in northwest Iran and eastern Turkey. This snake lives at elevations of more than 1,500 meters 5,000 feet and lean towards rough or verdant regions. In 2008, the status of the Wagner's snake was changed to basically imperiled as it was expected that the arranged development of a dam inside its restricted natural surroundings reach would destroy the snakes. Population numbers have additionally been declining because of numerous individuals catching these snakes as pets. It is assessed that there are less than 2,500 grown-ups left in nature. Its name is gotten from Moritz Wagner, a German traveler who gathered the principal reported example in 1846. Because of the danger of annihilation to these snakes, the St. Louis Zoo joined them into their reproducing program, with nine infants being conceived at the zoo in August 2013. Number 2. This snake, whose logical name is Bothrops alcatraz, is a basically jeopardized snake that lives on a little island off the southeastern shore of Brazil. This snake gets its name from the island that it lives on, Ilido Alcatraz is, a small stone of just 1.35 square kilometers, 0.5 square miles, that structures part of the Alcatraz's archipelago. This snake faces an extraordinary danger to its preceded with endurance, the island is habitually utilized as a maritime objective zone. Imperiling the lives and territory of these uncommon snakes, the Alcatraz's lance head has a place with the pit snake family, implying that it has a warmth detecting organ in its mind which it uses to find its prey. What's more, similar to any remaining pit snakes, it's destructive toxic. The specific quantities of enduring Alcatraz's landsheads is obscure, despite the fact that it has been noticed that they are genuinely basic on the little island that they live on. Number 3. The Santa Catalina Island Diamondback, or Crotalis catalinensis, is a little, thin pit snake discovered distinctly on the island of Santa Catalina in the Gulf of California. This rattler is novel in view of its absence of a working clatter. It is accepted that this diamondback lost its clatter trying to more readily adjust to its current circumstance, permitting it to quietly sneak up on fowls in desert brush. Their populace is confronting serious difficulties because of the presence of non-domesticated felines, which go after the snakes. Furthermore, these moderately latent snakes have been the objectives of slaughtering an unlawful assortment, further setting it at serious risk. Additionally, with the decrease of their fundamental prey, the deer mouse, it is expected that populaces of this uncommon snake may decay much further. Nonetheless, it is trusted that an as of late acquainted program with less than the quantity of wild felines on the island will go far toward the protection of these snakes. Number 4. In the past, the world's most uncommon snake, Allsophis antigua, has made a big deal about a rebound because of coordinated protection endeavors. The Antiguan racer is situated on a couple of little islands simply off the Caribbean island country of Antigua and Barbuda. The Antiguan racer was formerly living on the fundamental island of Antigua, however was cleared out after the presentation of the mongoose and dark rodent. Be that as it may, a little populace of racers figured out how to get by on Great Bird Island a low-lying islet found only a few miles off the shore of Antigua. This species was accepted to be wiped out until it was rediscovered in the mid-1990s. After the effect of destruction of ruthless rodents from the island, the populace has since expanded to more than 900 people, with snakes being once again introduced to close-by islands. The Antiguan racer is an earthy-colored, non-venomous snake and is quiet and simple to deal with. Its seating routine comprises solely of reptiles that live on the little seaward islands. Number 5. 
Vipera direski is a venomous snake which must be found in northwestern Armenia and northeastern Turkey. The snake is named after Ilya Derevsky, who was one of the first to discover and recognize the species. Because of the demolition of its characteristic natural surroundings from overgrazing by homegrown creatures, the quantities of Derevsky snakes are on the decrease. Last time anyone checked there were just around 500 people left in the wild. Setting this snake near the very edge of extinction, on top of that, its reach is seriously divided with little pockets of snakes spread over a wide region. This present snake's eating routine comprises principally of reptiles, rodents, and an intermittent bug. Darevsky's snake lives essentially at high elevations on mountain edges and goes through piece of its day lounging in the sun to secure enough warmth to work during the day. These snakes show sexual dimorphism, implying that the females are altogether bigger than guys. Number 6. The Sahul Reef Snake, also called the short-nosed ocean snake is a fundamentally imperiled ocean snake whose natural surroundings is generally contained in a little zone off the bank of northwestern Australia. This snake, whose logical name is Ipasaurus aprefrontalis, gets its name from the way that it has a little head and a short, pointed nose. The Sahul Reef snake lean towards sandy territories with meagre coral and can satisfy ten years in nature. It has so far just been found inside the region of two reefs, Ashmore and Hibernia, while this snake was once moderately bound to fill up until the 1990s. Its numbers had dwindled such a lot of that no people have been recorded in reviews since 2000. While the explanations behind this current snake's vanishing inside its living space are obscure, it has been conjectured that serious coral dying and debasement might be a significant guilty party. Number 7. Cassria dussumieri, also called the Round Island Fall-Scaled Boa, is discovered distinctly on Round Island, Mauritius. Grown-ups can reach up to 1.5 meters 5 feet long. They're dull earthy colored on their upper side, and their paunches are lighter with a sprinkling of dim spots. The snake gets its name from little, fallen scales that cover its body. The species has as of late been once again introduced to another island, Gunner's Coin, and in spite of the fact that there were under 250 full-grown round island boas in 1996, their numbers have now expanded to around 1,000. This is to a great extent because of the destruction of obtrusive species, for example, goats and bunnies, which has prompted the arrival of a lot of their local habitat. These snakes are important for a hostage reproducing program that will help in guaranteeing they're preceded with endurance. They lay up to 12 eggs all at once, and hatching for the most part keeps going around 90 days. Number 8. The Aruba Island Rattler, or Crotalus unicolor, is a basically imperiled diamondback that is endemic to the Caribbean island of Aruba to found simply off the shore of Venezuela. The snakes typically have a uniform dim or light earthy colored body tone, despite the fact that they're here and they have dual molded markings on their backs. The snake is nighttime during the sweltering late spring months however will wander out during the cooler early morning and late evening periods. The diamondback is viviparous, which implies that it brings forth live youthful instead of laying eggs. It has an expected life expectancy of as long as 20 years, and its eating routine is comprised of mostly rodents, feathered creatures, and reptiles. It is assessed that there are just 230 enduring grown-ups in the wild, with around 100 additional grown-ups in bondage. This snake is, shockingly, undermined by infringing human turn of events. It just has around 25 square kilometers 9.5 square miles of lacking territory in which it endures. The presentation of goats has likewise negatively affected the vegetation of the island, lessening the snake's living space much further. 
Number 9. Vipera Orlovi is local to the Black Sea district of Russia, where it is endemic to the Caucasus area. It was uniquely in 2001 that all of snake was isolated as an unmistakable animal categories from the firmly related Caucasian snake. This snake has a three-sided head and long, venomous teeth which are collapsed against the top of the mouth when not being used. In spite of the fact that the tones and examples of the snakes can change from example to example, they are typically earthy-colored dim, or yellow-dark with earthy-colored or dark crisscross bands. All of snakes have been appeared to eat a wide scope of nourishments, for example, mice, reptiles, frogs, and bugs. It's assessed that there are under 250 grown-ups in nature. The Orlov snake experiences far and wide poaching because of its prominence as a pet. With under 100 square kilometers 38 square miles of regular natural surroundings remaining, the Orlov snake is presently recorded as fundamentally jeopardized. Number 10. As of late broadcasted the most uncommon snake on the planet, the St. Lucia racer is situated on a small island simply off the bank of St. Lucia, a tropical Caribbean island. While these snakes once existed on St. Lucia, they were annihilated when obtrusive hunters, for example, the mongoose and dark rodent were acquainted with the island, executing these little snakes and poaching their eggs. They were really announced to be terminated in 1936 yet were rediscovered on Maria Major in 1973. Where the snakes figured out how to make chew because of the absence of mongooses, this non-venomous snake arrives at a most extreme length of just shy of 1 meter 3 feet, and is typically light earthy colored in appearance with a particular earthy colored stripe getting starting from the neck to the tail. With a new study showing that as not many as 18 of these snakes exist on the island, the St. Lucian racer is perhaps the most extraordinary creature on the planet. Right now, significant preservation endeavors are in progress to ensure these snakes before they become wiped out. Thanks for watching our channel. Don't forget to subscribe.